soccer program created three years ago may now be one of the answers to help reduce homicides right here in Columbus. NBC 4's Kenya Ramirez joining us now live from the Hilltop to tell us how this will benefit young people out there in Kenya. This is one to get a kick out of, right? Mm hmm Brad Arling, <laughs> we're seeing 51 homicides in the city of Columbus overall. And, you know, we don't want to see these kids be next. They want to make sure we're reducing those numbers ultimately. This means everything to us. This means everything to the kids, everything to the community. City Council would also agree. It's why they gave $75,000 towards My USA, a program working towards empowering the youth. A portion of that money will be going to their soccer program. Young people are um, having a really tough time in the pandemic. Unfortunately, when people struggle, sometimes they turn um, to activities that are not productive. Soccer coach Sia Mohammed says the soccer program is not only for the love of the sport. We tie the love of the sport to education, so we make it a requirement to have a certain GPA. We make it a requirement to have good attendance in school, to have good behavior. They tell us they're confident it will reduce the crime as they say it's been proven to be successful in the past. In 2017, many of the Somali youth were struggling. Approximately 2,000 children live in the Wedgwood Village apartment community, and um, they saw a significant spike in violence. The program helped keep kids off the streets, and now as more crimes are hitting closer to home, organizers say they can't sit back and watch this happen all over again. We've actually lost uh, two, two young brothers in in the neighborhood. They were close family members, but it's kids that, you know, that they interact with our kids. The goal is to enroll close to 500 kids ages 5 to 17 this summer. I think children my age need this because of our environment, and I feel that, I feel that soccer really is an outlet for us to do better. Brad Darlene, and they are looking to recruit more soccer players and coaches, so a link to that can be found on NBC4i with more information. Live and local for you, Kenny Ramirez, NBC4. Thanks, Kenya.